going on guys it's your boy d-pad back with another 2k21 video and today guys we're talking about shooting badges shooting badges that i'm particularly using for my stretch and if you guys don't know i have a stretch that's 99 a stretch four that i've been using for pretty much the release of the game and i've been kind of like testing and making new builds and stuff like that and trying to leave my stretch just a little bit but sometimes we don't get too far but speaking of new builds and all that stuff, there's been a patch that released a couple of days ago, which did include an 80, you know, kind of pro dribble move thing, which kind of confused people a little bit because me kind of annoyed a little bit by it. And the reason being is because, you know, this is something they should have had at the start of the game. This is something that kind of messes with people's pockets a little bit. And I don't like it when 2K start messing with my pockets. And what I mean by that is that I could have made a build that had a better ball control or something and tried to chase that pro dribble move that I was looking for. I mean, you guys know last year I had the post playmaker and he could dribble, but let's go ahead and skip all that jibber jabber because that's just patch news, right? And if you guys are me, you're tired of hearing about the patch and everything that came along with it because you feel like nothing's changed. And while nothing's changed, badges didn't change that much either. And if you're coming here for shooting badges, then D-pad can help you. So the shooting badges that I am using for my stretch guys are fairly simple. Um, I'm using catch and shoot on Hall of Fame, corner specialist on silver, dead eye on bronze, difficult shots on bronze, dream machine on Hall of Fame, hot start on silver, hot zone hunter on Hall of Fame, range is there on Hall of Fame, and volume shooter on gold. Now dead eye, start with dead eye for instance. Dead eye as we know, uh, below 30% is fairly open above 30 percent you're really contested and i felt like dead eye on bronze was good enough for me now at any point in time guys you stop me you stop me and you go to that comment section and you say d-pad you're dead ass wrong you completely ass for putting on that badge don't be afraid i like it when you guys are honest with me all right so don't be afraid to tell me hey d-pad your badges i'm not really liking it all right don't be afraid to do that difficult shots is on bronze for right now and the reason being guys that I got it on bronze is because sometimes I'll be taking phase with my stretch and my stretch is not like a natick stretch where I'm a little smaller in size with a little smaller arms so I don't get the you know I don't have the 30 plus shooting badges and all that other stuff but my difficult shots is on bronze because it activates and as long as I can get it to activate then I'm fine I've been making some fades off mid ranges um, off three, I've been making a couple. Um, it's not like I go for a lot of fade threes or anything like that. Green Machine is on Hall of Fame, as always. Now, Hot Start. Hot Start is an interesting badge this year, and it's actually been a little bit more powerful than it was on 2K20. I don't know. Correct me if I'm wrong, guys, but Hot Start, I don't think that was that good on 2K20. But for this year, it's really good. I've seen a lot of guards use this badge, especially on gold. Um, and they've been doing really well because they know once they make that first shot, it's almost GG, especially if you're playing twos. So I would consider using Hot Start, guys, if you are a type of sharp or anything like that. It's a really good badge. Hot Zone Hunter is on Hall of Fame, Range Extender is on Hall of Fame, and Volume Shooter is on Gold. And I tell you what, if I had 30 shooting badges, Volume Shooter would be on Hall of Fame. Volume Shooter is a really good badge this year, and if you're not using it, you need to change your mind about that. But guys, those are my shooting badges. And as I said before, if you think any of this stuff needs to be changed, man, then you guys definitely let me know in the comment section. Don't let your boy go out bad, all right? Help me out, all right? Now, as I told you guys in a couple of videos ago, probably a week ago, I told you guys about my jump shot. So at any time you guys are watching these clips or anything like that and you're wondering what's the pads jump shot, go to this video down below and go ahead and check it out. The base is 38, I'll tell you that much. But as far as the custom guru stuff, go ahead and click on that video and definitely check it out. The bases and the custom jump shots that I've been using, guys, are kind of similar to the jump shots that I was using on 2K20. I wish that I could use 98, 
this year just to see what it's like on a big but it doesn't give me the option to actually make that into a jump shot so i've been kind of wondering what jump shots are really out there um and before we even get a little further in that video stop right now i want you to think of a base of a jump shot any base in 2k21 and i want you to put it down in the comment section right now and the reason for that is because i'll probably use your comment in tomorrow's video for the new jump shot video i want to try some new jump shots want to make some more content for you guys and speaking of making more content for you guys a little bit of life changes for d-pad um i'm gonna be working monday through friday from 2 to 11 i finally got my job in northern man and i'm really excited about it because i want to get out more man i want to get some more money and finances in order you know what i'm saying so in order to make that work we got to try to make everything work and try to get on a better schedule you know uh 2 to 11 is not bad and what i'm going to be doing is it's going to push me to upload every day because i realize that I have less time on my hands and in order to make things happen I have to get on a particular schedule and with that being said um, I'm gonna be kind of editing in the morning and then uploading before I go to work I noticed that me getting up at 8 or till 2 is a lot of time in order to get things done and I want to stay active on my YouTube I want to reach my goal of 20,000 subscribers I want to do bigger things for you guys and me having a job a newer job is going to uh make me have that drive again since the uh coronavirus and everything i have lost like both my jobs and everything i had to move a lot of things changed and i think this is going to help a lot so hopefully you guys enjoy the ride and i appreciate you guys that have been showing up to the youtube i've been streaming almost every day on the youtube and i appreciate you guys for definitely showing support and you know who you are the guys that show up and just say what's up i don't even care if you're just stopping by just to like the stream and say hello i appreciate every last one of you guys so much that you don't even understand because you don't have to come and watch me you don't have to spend time with me but you do and i appreciate it so before you leave out of here guys definitely drop a like for your boy because it's greatly appreciated and if you're not following me on twitter do that man go ahead and drop a follow for your boy at dpad2k so i can follow some of you guys back and that's also my instagram is at dpad2k as well all right as you guys are watching these clips man i want you to realize that badges matter and badges matter so much on 2k21 that is absolutely crazy how you do your badge lineup what badges you're using what people you're playing with there's some clips that you're gonna see me making whites and people are like, oh my God, why is he making those whites? Like, I can't believe he's making. I have a 90 plus three. I'm playing with somebody that has dimer. He could be on silver, gold, or hall of fame. Um, floor general. You gotta think of all the pluses, boosts and all that stuff, man. I'm gonna make those whites at a 95, 96, 97, 98, three. You get what I'm saying? So there's a lot of things I want you to take in the instance and actually think about guys. Um, the jump shot, like I said, the base is 38 and the jump shot um, always works for me. So you're gonna see some whites that go in. You're gonna see some shots where you're like, wow, he made that. It's been your boy D-Pat. Hopefully you guys enjoyed today's video. I will see you guys tomorrow for another video. I love you guys, appreciate you guys. Stay safe, stay beautiful. Peace, motherfucking air grease. Later guys.